this is our first non-vlog video on our YouTube channel. We love that. Um, this is gonna be like just like a video of random like, questions, random facts and Getting questions. To know us, kind of. If you don't know us already, you will. So let's get right into it. Question one: If you didn't have, if you didn't have to sleep, what would you do with the extra time? Probably do homework. <laughs> if I didn't like have to sleep, if like if sleep, sleep wasn't a thing, I would probably just be on my phone more. What's your favorite piece of clothing you have owned slash owned? Ooh, that's hard. What do I wear a lot? Red. Anything red. She's a blood. Fun fact. Um, favorite piece of favorite clothing. I think my favorite clothing are my fishnets. <laughs> I don't wear them that often because like you can't really wear them that often, especially with my toe clothing. You really can't. Yeah. How often do you play sports? Fun fact about me. Hi, Kaylin. I am not athletic. <laughs> I don't do any type of sports. The only wait, technically I have done one sport. Cheer. Cheers. Competitive cheer! Competitive cheer is a sport. That yeah. How about you, child? Miss Athletic. Okay, so I'm not as athletic anymore, but like when I was younger, like I played soccer, basketball, volleyball, softball, and did cheer for a while. If you don't know the child, she's a legit stick. When was the last time you climbed a tree? Oh! The last time I climbed a tree was when I was pushed off and I have this scar. <laughs> I have this scar. I was down. Okay, I was like eight years old, and like, if you, if, okay, probably majority of the people, they, if you go to PHS, there used to be this really big tree in front of like where the pool is, and I climbed it because kids were climbing it, and I was had, I had a swimming lesson, and I climbed it, and this white guy, this, not to be like racist or anything, but this totally. white guy, he pushed me off. Ooh. <laughs> he pushed an eight year old child, he was a good like 15. 14, 15. Pushes an eight year old child off a tree. It was a big tree. What's your biggest pet peeve? Like, your one biggest, don't say multiple, like your one biggest pet peeve. I can't say that's my pet peeve because I like someone who, who can't dance. <laughs> You're a dancer and you like someone that can't dance. It's not all about the personality. Okay. Um, biggest pet peeve. Racism. My biggest pet peeve is probably the people that chew with their mouths open. What's your favorite eating. drink? Root beer. Mine's Coke. No, Slurpees. Coke Slurpee. <laughs> there was a week where I literally got a Slurpee every day. And I get the large Slurpees. You love that one. This is addiction. I am addicted. <laughs> What's the furthest you've ever been from home? West Virginia and New York. Whichever one's for further. I think New York's further. I think mine would be San Antonio, Texas. Which isn't even like that far. Um, how different was your life one year ago? <laughs> one year ago, today. One year ago, I was high key still ugly. I didn't. Me too. I didn't know what eyebrows were. <laughs> I have very thin eyebrows, like, I have them, like, on, as you can tell. On? I have them on. She drew them on. I draw my eyebrows on. But less than, I did not, I didn't have eyebrows, and they were very thin. They still are. And a flash would go off. No eyebrows. I didn't, I wasn't wearing hoops a year ago. A year ago, like, I had never worn a pair of hoops. I think the first time did, it was May of this year. Yeah, it was. Because it was when we went to Pasadena. Yeah. We weren't as close. We were I've known close, this child since she was a freshman. We weren't as close. No. We definitely did not hang out like this. Oh god. We never hung out, Andrea. Yeah. <laughs> we never Just hung like, out. Just like dance practice. Yeah. And then, I don't know what happened. Mia happened. Mia happened. Mia happened. And like now, like literally I saw her like 20 minutes ago. She went home and then FaceTimed me when she got home. 
and she was like, I was like, you can come over if you want. My mom's not home. It wouldn't even matter if she was home. She's like, okay. So here I am. Literally gone for 20 Separation minutes. anxiety. Ah! <laughs> She's children. 17, I'm 16. I am the children. You're both very small human beings. <laughs> what would you rate 10 out of 10? <laughs> Slurpees. Myself. I wonder if I kill myself and I'm a zombie, would I still be there, you know? Wow, that's really blurry. What is something you will never do again? I would never do it again. <laughs> I, would, I would never, ever, ever do it again in freshman year. Freshman year is yeah. the year of mistakes. Me too, girl. What stereotype do you completely live up to? The loud black girl. Mine would be like always being on my phone, but also oh, part of the too. time I do it out of boredom. If you had to change your name, what would you change it to? Something that's not Caitlyn and it starts with a K. Like, I'm sorry, whoever, if your name's Caitlyn, I don't care. But <laughs> <laughs> my name's not Caitlyn, but it's always majority pronounced Caitlyn. It's not Caitlyn, it's Caitlyn, no T, thank you. And I hate it. I would change mine to Andy. Or what my middle name is. Maribel. Maribel. What do you take for granted? My friends. <laughs> my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Every, okay, everyone takes their nose for granted until they can't breathe. Like, <gasps> they're sick. And then it's just like, you just want your nose back. Actually, I don't take my nose for granted because I'm asthmatic and I only have to use 75% of my lungs. <laughs> so, what, What's in a rat? What irrational fear do you have? What's considered an irrational fear? Mine would be like insects. Oh, I don't like, like clowns. Spiders. What would a mirror opposite of yourself be like? An optimistic person. I'm not optimistic. Mine would be someone that actually eats healthy. And drinks water. And drinks water. Fun fact, I never drink water. Like, she drinks like ever. you know how, like people like live off of water because like they need it for like their body. I drink she like a bottle drinks a month. soda to live off of. What do you want to be remembered for? My smile. Your smile. Even though like I have a horse smile, it's okay. It fits. Um, I need a burp. I'm sorry. I please stop. <laughs> I just want to be remembered of like just not being a person that people hated. Like I try to be nice. Oh, I try not to be. Um, what do you regret not doing? I regret not going to more parties, but that's not in Oof, my control. That's a mood. What lie do you tell most often? That I'm okay. <laughs> so depressing. So oh my god! I try not to lie. You hate lying. Like you lie, but like you hate it. Yeah, honestly, like, I really hate lying. I lie. So I really try not, not to lie. lie. But... When was the last time I lied? To Jackson. Well, that's the last time I know. Oh my god, yeah, I think that was the last time. <laughs> We'd love that! She does things for me. <laughs> I really, like, don't lie. Like, the last time I lied was... This morning. Who did you lie to? My mother. Oh. <laughs> like usual, to the same person. Last time I lied was when we went to your mother's party. Your mother. Yeah. I have two birth names, one middle name and one last name. Uh, favorite color is blue. I look younger than what I am. I've had braces on for four years, so like all of my high school life. So my name's Andrea. <laughs> I prefer Andy. My favorite color is red. I own a lot of red. I wear it almost every day. I am the pickiest eater you will ever meet. My, I love chicken tenders, chicken strips, chicken nuggets. Chicken Nick anything. nuggets from McDonald's to be specific. Oh, I love kickstarts and monsters. Oh, I love Alice in Wonderland. She got a new tapestry. Tapestry. Tape, tapestry. tapestry. Tapestry, tapestry. I say tapestry. Um, let's see. I don't know how to ride a bike. She doesn't know how to do a cartwheel either. Um. Oh, I did. 
I want to say like eight years of cheer. I started at Victory Cheer in Pasadena. I did half year for two years and then I stopped freshman year and I did high school cheer. I've done dance for eight years. That's what I have done. Co-captain. Junior called. officer. Junior officer, that's what they call us. I'll be a co-captain next year. That's it for this video. It was honestly the randomest video that we've ever done because it wasn't vlogs yeah. and it wasn't like planned out on anything. But hope that you learned more about us and us as a whole. Like, comment, subscribe. Shout us out. Go follow our Instagrams in the description box. Yes, and um, I think that's we should it? do. Yeah. yeah. I'm up here, then my head go on my